everybody once again. So we are still at Grouse Creek. This is day number three. We finally have some good weather. So it's been raining for three days straight since we've been here on Friday. It is now Monday, Memorial Day Monday. And the weather is perfect. So we're gonna up our game a little bit. We're gonna go check out some of the harder trails and hopefully run those. And she, Ashley's got us all checked in. We're ready to go. Nick is over there. We are ready to hit Crucible. He's ready to run some big trails. The, Hope, top, the yeah. top is off and we're ready to have a yep. good time. Top's off. We have our doors completely off. So we're ready to run it. It's going to be intense, I'm sure. So I'm sure my Jeep's not going to come back looking the same. <laughs> His Jeep should be all right. We're we'll seeing. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I just jinxed us all. All right, guys. Hope you guys like this video. Okay. All right. So we were cruising down T Trail to get to Crucible, and um, we got a gas leakage going on. A little bit of a gas leak. It's it is bad. It's Dripping bad. It smells. So I always carry with me these water bottles. I've had this in the toolbox for like three years, and I was like. Why don't you just drink it and whatnot? These are trail waters, and these aren't meant for drinking because when you spill gas in there, you gotta dilute it somehow. Yep. So hopefully this will get rid of some of the pains in here. Yeah. So it's about time they're getting used. Yeah. All right, I'll show you guys real fast. All right, so right here is his inline fuel pumps. So it's line here, another little fitting right there. And then there's another line over there. And is that the filter or is that the so pump? So that, that one closest to you is the filter. Filter. And then this one is the fuel pump. It's and that one's the fuel pump. So one of the lines on the fuel pump came loose and it's just pouring everywhere. So we got it all fixed. Well, he just has to put a wrench on it and tighten it up. And then we're get moving again. Well, we're here. Let's go see how gnarly this trail looks before we try and run it. All right, so we're going to run it. We're going to give it a shot. I lightened up the Jeep, so all the tools, the spare, everything's all out of the Jeep. I'm going to keep the bikini top on because I really don't care if that gets ripped. Um, and we're just going to give it a shot. It's freaking gnarly. So we're going to see how this goes. How are you feeling about it, Ashley? Meh. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> Meh. Nick, how about you? I'm nervous. Yep. I, I know Josh is a great wheeler and... And he has the ability to do it, so I'm gonna let him run it first, yep. and then I'll fall right behind. Yep, we got it. How's Willie feel? He's Willie's excited. Look <laughs> at him. He's outside of the Jeep, so he's super happy. All right, let's get to no it. Warning: He will cry this entire video. Yep. <laughs> so will I. So will I. <laughs> Why I'm on the trail? <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Okay, so Josh is just about ready to come up the trail. And right here at Crucible, we have the gatekeeper. Massive rocks. So hopefully Josh is able to pick a, a good line and is able to hold that throughout the trail. Sorry for the video guys, this is even hard to walk on.
All right, so right now we're getting close to the infamous tree on Crucible, the one that takes everybody's top off. And there's this massive rock. So we may have to winch, we may not have to, but we're gonna try our best right now. on that front diff a little bit, but he's got it. He's got it. Okay, sweet. All right, this is it. Josh, you're, you're on your bumper. Try try repositioning yourself higher on the line. You're pretty bellied out. All right, so let's um, let's back up. Josh. You're good, Josh. You're good. All right, so right now we're right at that stage that Light Bright and Ben, ben was at, and that B pillar is really close to getting smashed. So we are gonna winch. We gave a valiant effort. How you feeling, Josh? That's the one spot I was worried about is that tree. And it it did rain out the last couple days here. So it is super slick. No excuses, but excuses. Yep, that's exactly it. So we'll get this out of here, no problem. Okay, so we got the winch line hooked up. And hopefully it's enough to pull us through. Ooh. I think that back corner. It's all right, it's just gonna be your corner. We might lose that tab again, but yep, there it goes. Turn down towards it. Ooh, like a can opener. There's no way that tab's going back on. Josh. All right, Josh, let's take off that winch line. Let's go see what you did back here. Oh wait, zero body damage. Really? That Evo, that Evo corner, it, it, it ate it. Really? And now it matches the other side. Oh man, oh, awesome. Sweet. That's sweet. Yeah, 
Oh. Yeah, dude, that's not bad. All this is fine. That's great. The pillar's fine. The pillar, everything is awesome yeah, right now. Awesome, thank you. Sweet, dude. Let's get through the rest of it. Okay. Let's get through the rest of it. All right, Josh. How is that obstacle? <laughs> it's not a hard obstacle, right? You're just gonna put your stuff into the tree. And we left some paint marks on it. And <laughs> it's funny, it's just off camera, so it sinks you down. And then you just got that deal with that big rock. Once it, once somebody hits this trail enough, that rock's gonna start sliding down, and the trail's gonna become easy. Easier. Well, easier as far as smacking the tree. Yeah. All right. But, oh my. So Josh did get to leave his mark. Yep. All, All right, guys. If you come and you see this lovely chief blue paint, yep. you know it was from us. So I'd say we're three quarters through the trail. We just got through the, the difficult part with the tree and we're about to jump down here. Oop, just fell. We're about to jump down here and, uh, and attempt doing the final obstacle and not doing the bypass. Hold that line, Josh. Turtley situation. We gotta put the winch line on and try and get them winched up over this portion of the obstacle. Hole.
They're like, all right, I like it. I like it. I think he needs to come straight. Driver, driver. I think he's, the rock slides are gonna walk him right off that side. Uh, he might be good. We are not juicing. Woo! Oh no! Oh no! Alright, so we're at the end of Crucible and a little bit of a pickle. Josh is hung up on his rear drive shaft, or 14 bolt actually. It's just inches away from, from making it. Oh, Willie wants to do the interview. So, Dad, what did you think? Yeah, that was nuts. That, that, that trail, <laughs> um, if, if, if you're not an experienced off-roader, don't do this trail. You have to have a, a good spot or two. So, thanks to Nick for getting me through it. But, man, that, that trail is something else. We did have to put line on it a couple times to get it over some stuff because the mud out here was really, really slick with all that rain we got the past four days. But we we were able to run through it, we did it. I don't think we did any damage. We can assess that later, but we did it. Now we're gonna try to get Nick through it. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now it is Nick's turn to take the reins and run Crucible. How you feeling, Nick? Well, we just got Josh through it and I'm ready. All right, he's got. He's got to make this happen. Yep, he's borrowing my helmet for safety measures. It's always better to be safe than dumb. Yep, exactly. <laughs> All I right. can't replace this. I can't replace this. Yep. All right, let's get to it. This is Nick doing Crucible. You got it. Just hold that line, come up. Passenger hard. Hold passenger hard. Straight. Yep. Go driver, driver. Hold driver hard. Yep, hold it hard. Hold 
Hold driver, yeah, keep holding driver. Straighten her up. Hold it straight. Now hold it straight. That's fine, you're okay. The differences between wheelbases. Josh put our top in that tree. He did not have to do that. Now his wheelbase is either gonna be really good for that tree up there where everybody dinks, or not. We'll see. This trail is definitely one that you cannot mash the gas. With how off camber it is, you just can't. Yeah, cut back up. You're good, hold that line. Yep. I think the short wheelbases have it on this one, folks. I mean, that is definitely where Josh hit the A pillar, where we left our paint mark, and he has come through unscathed. Yep. Hold it right there for a little bit longer. All right, cut it down to me. Just like that, hold it there, no further. Just hold that line. That's that point where it looks like that rear end gets really light, but as you inch forward, you just crust over that rock and it sinks you back down. But this is that part where Josh got pretty tippy. So let's see how he does. He is about three inches higher than us from A pillar to A pillar. Your back's gonna fall. All right, you're okay though, just nice and slow. Yep, you're good. Cut it down to me hard now. Now straight, straight. Perfect, now cut it back down. All right, we gotta get lined up to do this crazy part where, you know, that big rock there in the center, Josh flipped it over. Built on the East Coast. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh. Let's 
let's see what the other side looks like. Just like that. Perfect. Stop, stop. That's the crack. So turn it to me and see if you can come up it. Fudge. Um, passenger and back up. If you can. Josh. Sink him down, winch him over. So the plan, because he's in a very sticky situation, is we're going to attach our winch to his rear end. We're gonna drag him over. Because the way that his front is, if, if he does try and continue to go forward, something's gonna break, even if we winch him and it's gonna get super tippy. He can't back up because of where that rock is. It's just, I saw floorboard from my angle. So, um, let's get his rear end dragged over, reline up his front, put a winch line on just for safety, and rock and roll. reposition them and instead of picking them up and flopping them we were able to turn them right on that rock all right so winching as he was turning his wheels definitely helped we got a reposition Just to keep them online. Out. 
that's not on the ground. Look at that. Holy smokes. He's really light in the rear and his front was starting to lift off. You're teetering. No idea. He's... Ah. Whoa. Oh yeah, hard and fast and sure. All right, nice and slow. Just creep it. Just creep it. Yep. All right. You're coming down. Perfect driving, perfect. Nice and slow with it. Yep. No, no, no. Come to me. That back's gonna fall. You might have to throttle it out right there, all right? Yep. You can, yeah, let's see if we can crawl it. You got the flex, I think. Your tire's down. Just walk it out, buddy. Walk it out. <laughs> Holy cow, man. That was awesome. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. Jeez, how you feel? I feel great, man. <laughs> this is it. We did the hardest this trail. Is... We did the hardest trail in Roush. This is East Coast wheeling. Yep. East Coast wheeling at its finest right here. Slippery, big rocks, off camber. This is awesome. Yeah. So glad I got to do it with you guys, man. Yeah, that was sweet, man. Intense. That was absolutely awesome. Holy cow. Jeez. Those are some big rocks over there. <laughs> it didn't feel weird in there. Yeah. It didn't feel weird. Yep. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys. Yeah, dude. That was awesome. I can't wait to see the video. That was awesome. All right. So we both did Crucible without too much issues it got pretty intense there for a little bit for both of us i did have to winch twice nick had to winch once if this was dry i think we i think i would have only had to winch once and he wouldn't have had to winch at all his back tires did not want to climb that last piece portion of it but it was absolutely awesome because we had a ton of rain for the past four days but he made it we both made it without issues and that is probably all we have for this video one because and done today. yeah just one and done we i think it took each one of us about an hour and a half to run through out 100 yards of trail that's yeah. just how intense this trail is so if you're built up come do this trail it's legit oh, yeah. all right see you guys don't forget to give us a like subscribe and share leave your comments at the bottom let us know if we took the wrong line <laughs> if there's a better and easier line for it. Teach us how to drive. Yeah, teach us how to drive. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.